Hey everyone, it's Kayla here and I'm back with day four of the 12 days of Christmas scrap lifts. Now today's scrap lift is in the top right hand corner and I've also added the link in the description below. You can also find the links to the Scrap Squad Facebook group as well as uh, the link to Rebecca's shop um, which is where our kit is from. So before I started filming, I did cut um, some stars on my silhouette. Um, I did kind of mess around on the software and add some boxes for where my photos would fit, um, just to kind of get a rough idea of how my design will be. Because on the original layout, there is the photos in the middle and then the stars kind of peeking out from behind the photos and the clusters. Um, so I did that um, on my silhouette and then um, I backed it with some stripy pattern paper from the kit. Now this paper has all the colours from the collection so I thought it would be a real good one um, to bring in on this page. Now obviously this is a completely different vibe um, to the original layout um, with the pink. Um, and the black and white mine has a lot more color um, and my stars are also bigger as well um, I'm not sure why I went for really large stars but um, that's kind of how my design went and I think because my photos are a little bit bigger as well it made a little bit more sense to have um, larger stars now on the original layout they have made like shaker stars some stars have some stitch detail in the star um, some are just stitched around the outside. Now I decided for my page I'm going to just stitch around the outside outside of each of the stars um, and the reason for this was because I've got quite a busy um, backing paper on the stars already. I didn't want to make it even busier um, so that I couldn't then add lots of embellishments which is one of my favourite things to do. So the photos that I'm scrapbooking today are of TJ and Darcy um, and these were taken last year on Christmas Eve. We'd gone outside and joined in with the Christmas jingle that um, everyone was doing last year and the kids had their bells and they were shaking the bells but um, me and my neighbours, we're all very good friends, um, we decided to make it a little bit more special for the kids and one neighbour made hot chocolates, um, another neighbour had mince pies, we brought out the big tubs of chocolate um, and it was just great fun we had Christmas music on and the kids really enjoyed it and it was so cute seeing all the kids on the street out in their pajamas in the Christmas pajamas all so excited for Father Christmas arriving now I thought this sticker from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet was absolutely perfect um, for this layout and the story behind this page and it says jingle all the way and I thought could it get any more perfect for the story? Um, so these photos, like I said, are from Christmas Eve and we're joining in the Christmas jingle. In the photos, you can see both children with their hot chocolates. Darcy's also got her bells in her hand. Um, and I got them little personalised bells. They were so cute. Um, and I included those in their Christmas Eve box with their pyjamas and all the other little bits that I include in there. I did pull in um, the floral stickers. I brought in both of those from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet um, and took those in behind my photos because on the original layout, she does have um, some floral bits uh, tucked in behind the photos. And now I'm just kind of shifting through um, all the embellishments. I have got my... Um, my chipboard in with my die cuts because I, it kept popping out and I was scared that I was going to lose a piece um, so I've just put them all in together so I can have a quick flick through and see what I'd like to use on this page. I have pulled in a chipboard piece that says merry and bright and um, I've also got a little chipboard hot chocolate mug and I thought that would just so perfect as well for this page. Um, I brought in an arrow which says here comes Santa uh, I'm not sure that, no, that does not make it on the final page. I'll switch it out for a different sticker instead. Um, I have included the number two and four, which these are really to make up the first 12 days of Christmas. But I've just put the two and the four together to document the fact that this was Christmas Eve. Um, and I'm also going to add some other bits and pieces down there as well. Pulling in some word phrase stickers from the sticker sheet. 
Um, I've got believe. Um, I do bring in the word Christmas, which is in kind of a crafty colour, which I think then just matches it with the craft on the um, hot chocolate embellishment. So yeah, it's just a case now of looking for little bits and pieces that I might want to bring in for this page, looking at the brads, looking at the puffy stickers. Um, but I'm thinking right now, I'm kind of getting to a point where I quite like what I've got on the page. Um, and I do go off camera and stick everything down. And this is where I change out just a few little bits that I wasn't quite happy with once it came to sticking down. I've got the ho, ho, ho instead of the arrow. Um, and I've also added a few word stickers at the bottom. I've got here comes Santa Claus and fa la 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 la, which I thought was perfect for this story. Um, I'm going to bring in some little punch stars from the red glitter paper. Um, I've got a little pot on my desk um, with the ones that I punched in um, out of scraps from, I think it was my day two layout. Um, and it just adds a nice little bit of sparkle to the page. And I also bring in some silver gems as well there from my stash, just to add those little bits around the page. And now I'm going to come in uh, with one of the cut apart tags. And the reason being is I was looking at the page and I just felt like there was something missing from above Darcy's photograph. Um, you could see obviously the star, but I felt like I needed just something else up there to kind of finish this page off. So I do pick out one of the cut apart tags and I'm just gonna cut that down um, and punch the hole. And then I'm also going to distress the edges of that as well, just because I have done that on the word stickers and I just think that adds a nice little bit of texture to the page and a bit of separation as well. So I'm gonna do that and I do add some twine in the tag. I did cut the tag um, kind of in, well, just the top bit off of the tag and that's just because I have stuck my photographs down um, and I wasn't able to fit the full tag behind the photo so I've just cut that down but that does mean then if there's anything on the other side that I could fussy cut I can fussy cut those out for extra embellishments. So yeah, this layout now is really coming together and I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I just think there's so many bits on here that are just so perfect for this story. Um, and I'm so pleased to get it documented as well, just because obviously a lot of the kind of events throughout last year were very, very different from previous years. And I really wanted to make sure that those were documented in my albums. So I'm just going to finish off with some splatters of my pearlescent paint. And I used the black one, which once dry, it's more of a, a charcoal grey. And I think that looks really nice. So this is my finished page. I really can't wait to see what everyone creates today. I'm hoping to see some shaker pockets. Um, I'm sure lots of you will um, have a go at those. So thank you for watching and I'll be back tomorrow with day five. Bye.